What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the second look at Daisy Mod. Right now, in the first episode, we experienced what is the daytime play, and now that night is approaching, I did want to do like a second episode just because it might be a little bit differently. I wonder if zombies spawn differently. Now, during the night, actually, one thing is that um, no, oh, I just shot my gun by accident. No other monsters actually spawn. It's just zombies, so. So I'm wondering how easy it is to get away from these guys. So let's let's just run. Like I wonder what they're if the if they if they have the same kind of aggro radius that the uh, that the Minecraft does. Yeah. So no. Oh yeah. So it it does look like it's super easy to get away from the zombies there. And this texture pack is all included with the uh, the Daisy mod here. So. But night is actually a little bit terrifying now that we don't have, we're not able to change our, our brightness setting. And it doesn't look like I'm, chests don't seem to be easy to find. Man, it looks like I'm going to be running out of ammo here pretty soon as I only have six rounds left in this magazine and I have three after. Wow, that moon is cool. Okay, so it does look like, oh, what is this? Oh, it's just a flower in front of a chest. It's like, what is that? A baseball bat? Oh, no, you didn't. I think it's just a sword, but it's just textured. <laughs> yeah, it looks like it's just a wooden sword, but definitely cool. Little little new weapon right here. That's... <laughs> oh, this is awesome. This is 100% awesome. Now, it'd be super cool to experience this on uh, multiplayer, like I did talk about in my last episode. And, oh god, I do actually plan on doing that. So yes, it does look like they're, the zombies do spawn a bit more frequent at night, even though we are staying around the same number. But it does look like that they spawn a bit more around you, rather than like kind of spread all over the place. Now, I'm wondering if the mod is actually built so they spawn underground, or if it's kind of built so they spawn near you. And it'd be cool, it'd be interesting to actually know that, uh, because, you know, obviously in this game where you're not able to break any blocks or anything like that, kind of going down into caves would be a little bit uh, silly, so, I don't know, well, I, get out of here! Now, one thing I'm going to be doing at the end of this episode is probably going to kill myself uh, by a zombie, because apparently they do have, like, death screens and everything, and I, and I do want to check that out, but without... Really, oh, my nose is NJ. Without having to die by accident. So, because I do want to explore a little bit more, and it does look like we're a little bit hungry. So, we're going to eat that. And it doesn't, I don't know. Oh my god, I got to stop doing that. <laughs> I'm kind of wondering if there's any water, because with all the chests, it just looks like we're getting like all canned food and no water. And I'm wondering if they don't have any type of water system implemented because our water actually hasn't gone down in any way, shape, or form. Like, it's the same uh, shade of green that it was before. So, it'd be definitely interesting to know that, so. Because I, I, I was looking at, uh... Okay, so one thing is, do not spam, because once they're already hurt, you gotta wait till they're done being hurt, I guess. And just kill them. But, uh, yeah, like I was reading, and it doesn't look like, uh, there are any type of water. Oh, we gotta reload. And what I mean by spamming, because if you go... Yeah, see, I just shot four, and... So that's one thing to keep in mind, guys. Oh, and we have a chest here, is to not spam your... Spam your weapon. Unless, obviously, it's like a baseball bat. <laughs> Uh, I really hope there's a, like a, a gun here. Uh, it's all camp pasta. Get out of here, camp pasta. But yeah, this is uh, definitely one of my favorite mods already. Just because you know I'm I'm a huge zombie fan, so anything zombie related is definitely cool in my books. Especially Day Z. Like my like this is completely different than Mind Z right now, but both are really cool. And we're, we're finding a lot of food, but no weapons. And I only have one more magazine left. Mmm. That ain't cool. Now, here, I want to take a look at this. I don't think this would be implemented. 
Oh my god! It does shoot an arrow. Look at that. Now, you're not able to pick it up, however, but it actually does shoot a projectile. I didn't know that. Oh, that'd be interesting. I'm wondering if you can kill, like, your own teammates in that. See, this is why I want to play some multiplayer, because that would be a definitely interesting thing to do. Kind of like a, a survival, and, you know, we all spawn in a certain area. And just, just go at her. Now, if you're punching him, how long does it take? Or can you? Ow. Uh-oh. Yep, I am currently bleeding, so... Okay, so no, that's not your thirst. That is your blood. So, we, again, you're going to have to eat to get rid of that. See, I thought, I, for some reason, I thought that was thirst. But that's good that you really don't have to worry about thirst. But at the same time, it would be cool to see that implemented in the near future because that is one of the survival issue, er, aspects that, that makes uh, Daisy great is the whole, you know, you becoming thirsty. So, I think, like I said, though, it is currently in beta, so... Don't, like, bash it too much. But I'm pretty sure the guy wouldn't mind constructive criticism. And I'm highly doubtful he'll watch it. But, you know, adding thirst would definitely be a cool option there, I think. Like, even even if, if you make your, uh, this, like, your thirst or something like they do in... <laughs> I look like a freaking Indian mobster. That is hilarious. <laughs> Oh my god. Pop, pop. And I'm currently out of ammo. Hmm, so now I'm wondering if your ammo, I'm pretty sure, like, uh, they have to have ammo, but it doesn't seem like I've ran into too much. It seems like I'm just running into a lot more food than anything at this point, but not that that's a bad thing. It's definitely uh, adds to the kind of a uh, realistic survival, I guess, as realistic as you can get in Minecraft, right? But it's definitely a, a good, a cool interest. Now I'm wondering. Okay, so that's what the gun looks like. That's pretty cool. Looks like just a paddle. But now it's pretty darn close to daytime, so. haven't found it oh there's a chest in the water look at that i'm wondering what the spawn rate or like the randomness of the chests are because it looks like this is a super random spot oh my god we got a crowbar and a hatchet guys look at that now do these have durability so let's let's definitely take a look at this and let's see how many hits this takes compared to the bat three. okay so three now let's take a look at the axe one two three so it's the same with the axe and the, the crowbar there so i didn't know they had other melee weapons that is that is cool okay so what i'm going to be doing here shortly after the sun rises is i'm going to go kill myself via a zombie and take a look at the death screen and Actually, yeah, I'll probably kill myself in one more other way. I do want to, like, bleed out and see if it does give you a different death screen there, so. But as you can see, we do have an AKM magazine right there, which is definitely a gun to keep an eye out for because it's automatic. Oh, I really wish I could spawn that. Because, or find one right, right pretty soon because seeing that would definitely be, definitely really be cool. Actually, you know what? We could probably go into creative and check that out. Come here, bro. Come here! Oh, yeah. We're, we are super hungry. Okay, from the looks of it, when you're really hungry, it looks like three is the, the amount. I think those are just probably steaks. So we're, what we're going to do is we're going to kill ourselves right here. We're just going to see what it looks like the death screen come on buddy i don't want to live anymore come on you dirty rotten zomber oh yeah so i am bleeding right now <laughs> come on We 
are so close to death, and I cannot wait. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> this is taking so much longer than I anticipated. <sighs> Missing text. <laughs> uh, so. Oh, and it does look like it is a hardcore world. Now, I do want to go into creative if we can take a look. Okay, so. Okay, so here we go. That's a hunting knife. We got the crossbow. We got the AKM. I'll take the AKM ammo. We got the Lee Enfield and the Lee Enfield ammo. And the M1911 with the M19 ammo. Random chests. And it does look like you do have blood bags. So what we're going to do is we're going to check that out as well. Whoa! So, okay, so definitely a Lee Anfield is definitely what you want to get as... As it does look like it is a one-shot kill. <laughs> okay, same with the AKM, and it does look like you have 24. And you're limited to... Okay, so as well as the... Lee Enfield, it is semi-automatic. You can shoot it as fast as you can. And here. Same with that. Okay, what about a crossbow? Oh, it's like old school Minecraft. Now let's actually take a look and see how many... How many shots it takes. Now with the blood bag, I don't think it, it does look like you just eat it. But as we are currently in creative, it actually won't show how much blood it'll it'll show you or uh, give back. But okay, so let's take a look at this. One, two. So two, like the M9 or the Makarov. Now the M1911 is two as well. Okay, so definitely what you want to do is keep an eye out for the Lee Enfield as. Well, it's a, it's a one-shot kill, so. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, definitely a cool mod to check out, guys. I'd highly suggest it if you're looking for something new, for something not really challenging, but definitely a really interesting mod to check out, so. Take these zombies out. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this kind of first look at this game. And looks like they dropped bandages as well. So, uh, yeah, definitely keep an eye out for this. And I shall talk with you guys later. Actually, hunting knives. Nope, doesn't look like you do it. It does like the same amount with as a crowbar and a hatchet. So... Again, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this, and I shall talk to you guys later. Peace out, Girl Scouts.